in. Woo! 7.55 a.m. And I'm on the way to the doctor's. Actually, I'm just getting my blood drawn today. And today, they're gonna check for cholesterol and stuff. Woo! Yeah. We'll see how that goes. I go to my actual thyroid doctor on Thursday. And so he'll let me know what my cholesterol is. But I've been doing way better as far as not eating so much crap. So, and I exercise every night, so we'll see. It's a brisk 27 degrees and it's only been going down since I got out of my garage. Okay, I'm here. It is, what, 8.15 in the morning? So I don't know if the clinic opens at 8 or 8.30, but I guess I'm going in. And the sun is just about to rise over that mountain. It's cold. Okay, I am back home. Um, what a mess. I get up there 8.15, they open at 8.30, and there's a lady standing there at the counter talking to the only lab worker there talking about this and that causing problems and meanwhile I'm sitting there and then other people start walking in they have a whole new system where you have to put your paper in this basket you know your your lab orders and it's a different kind of system than they were using before. You have to sign in. You never used to have to do that. So anyway, to make a long story short, I was there for like 40 minutes before they even saw me. And this one guy walks in, puts his paper behind my paper, and then as soon as that lady left, the nurse grabbed his paper and took him back and I'm like, he was just got there. I was waiting for like 20 minutes by this time. He goes in and walks right out. So finally she came back from him and was gonna get somebody else to work on and I said, wait, I've been here since 8.15, I'm next. So, and I've known these lab ladies for years and I just think they were shorthanded and they just were flustered, so it's no big deal. So anyway, I go back and she's poking my left arm, telling me, oh, I have great veins, blah, blah, blah. And then no blood was coming in to the tube, none at all. And so she was taking the needle and moving it around in my vein and shoving it way up trying to get blood. But nothing was coming. And I was like, oh, great, you know, this has happened before. So she switches to my right arm and still no blood. And then she realized, oh, it's the tube. Sometimes the tube that the blood goes into doesn't have suction or pressure and it doesn't work. And she forgot about that because that rarely happens. I'm like, oh, of course it happens when I'm trying to give blood. So she switches to a new tube and sorry about that, and finally gets blood. So that's great and dandy, but now my left arm is kind of hurting because she was jamming that needle all over in my vein. Whatever, so now I'm home and now I have to start work, so I shall talk to you when I'm done. <laughs> okay, I'm done working, that was lame. I hardly had any work to do. It was just a slow, slow day today, so <laughs> I didn't even make $5. How embarrassing is that? Anyway, I feel really good today, and it's nice to have gotten up early this morning and put my face on. So now I'm not tempted to chill out in my bed because I'm already up and dressed and stuff, so. I have the whole day ahead of me and I don't know what to do with it. Oh, I know. I wanted to let you know that this morning I opened up this popcorn from Trader Joe and it's the Reduced Guilt Air Popped Popcorn. 
Rocky, you're right. It sucks poo. There is no flavor to this at all. I thought the Cape Cod kind was bad. This tastes like nothing. I mean, I'm not even going to eat it because why, why eat it if I'm not even going to enjoy it at all? It's just bad. I'm glad it was just $1.75 or something because I'm just going to throw this away. It's just not even worth the guilt-free calories. Okay, well, I had to get out of the house. It's such a nice day today, and I was getting restless. So, I'm just gonna walk around at Target because you never know what new things they have. And also, I haven't been to Maurice's in a while, and it's right next to um, Target, so. I will check out Maurice's, but the problem with that place is the one that I go to, there's this little sales girl there. She's like the manager, you know, she's in her 20s. She's really nice and really outgoing, but it's kind of really annoying because she's all pressuring me to buy stuff and I don't know. She knows, she remembers me every time I come in, so it's kind of like, meh, leave me alone, would ya? Here we are, the big Target, yo. Here we go, big T. So they have a whole bunch of new Tom's stuff here at Target. That's a notebook. Look how cute. All right, I am back from dilly dallying. I went to Target and I went to Maurice's, and Maurice's is just a clothing store for girls, women. Anyway, at Target, I just got a few little things. I just went to the dollar bin. I got um, this really cute fleece blanket. This was $3. And this is for Lola. She sleeps on a little chair by my bed every day. And it's a folding chair. And so I put a towel over it. And it's a pink towel with black hair all over it now. So I thought this would be really cute to put over the chair. And then... Um, it'll be soft and I can get my towel back. Um, hold on. I got these two pairs of little Christmas socks. These are a dollar each. I just love little socks, you know. I got this pair of silly Christmas tree sunglasses, or glasses, and I'm wondering if I already have a pair. I got this cute little hair elastic for Christmas. And then I also got these little bows. They're just little clips to go on my hair. And that's it. That's all I got from Target. Okay, so yeah. Let me tell you about Maurice's. I went to Maurice's looking for some jeans because they have a lot of jeans and they've got them in short. Um, I need jeans that are in the short size because I'm short. So they have kind of expensive jeans and then they've got their brand name jeans which are pretty good. They're $39.99. So I tried on a bunch of those jeans. Oh my gosh. I was in the dressing room forever. I tried on probably eight or ten pair of jeans. And it turns out I'm a little thicker than I thought I was. So yeah. I was like, 
asking the cute girl. In fact, she's the girl who I was saying earlier was always in there and always bugging me. I take it back. That was rude of me. She was very kind and she always remembers me and she totally helped me get sizes as she was running back and forth for me. So anyway, um, yeah, I realized at least in that store I'm a lot bigger than I used to be. So yeah, I finally found two pairs of jeans. They're actually buy one, get one half off right now. And so I just bought two pairs of jeans and I will show you what they look like. This pair is, it's kind of faded in the front like that. And I like how they're just kind of straight. They're not too flared out at the bottom. They are a tiny bit, but not too much. And they've got this denim flex, which is really nice because they're kind of stretchy. They're not really stiff, you know. They move with your with your butt. And then here's the back, nothing too fancy. And these are just really comfortable. So I got those. And then I got this pair. And that's even less blingy, blingy on the back. And this is a slight bit slight bit darker pair than the other ones and again the bo the bottoms aren't too flared out at all and the front just looks like that there you know I didn't need both pairs because they're almost exactly the same except for the pocket and the fit is a little different but I needed new jeans because these jeans are short and I can wear them with my clogs or my tennis shoes. Whereas my other jeans, they're way too long. I have to wear these big clunky boots with them. I have to wear these Mondo things because otherwise they drag on the floor. So, and, and these are so heavy and by the end of the day, your feet hurt. So I had to get some new jeans that I could wear with tennis shoes for the winter because the other ones I wore last year, they don't fit me anymore, yo. So that's the story of my jeans, and it was really depressing, I must say. So anyway, um, I got buy a pair, get one half off, plus I had a 15% off coupon. So one pair was $33, and then the other pair was $12.99. So, you know, I got two pairs of jeans for, like, under $50. It was like $48 with tax or something like that. So I hope I don't have to buy any more for a while. And I hope that they one day get too big for me because that was really depressing for me. Momo! So guess what I'm having for dinner again? Yep. Because I love them, yo. Mm. I love mini wheats. Okay, so I'm making the salad for the hubs. He's healthy and has salads and I have mini wheats. But he had pizza and ranch dressing and crap for lunch so that's why we fended because he's not very hungry so let's get making this salad okay here's Daryl's salad nice and neat smells good it is good see if you notice there's a yellow string from the quilt okay so I'm gonna clip off my paper things here and cut the tags off things and put them in the hamper so I can wash them. I'm really hoping my jeans work out and I'm really hoping my socks work out. So yeah, here's the visual of my closet again. I swear I just cleaned this out and now it's backed up again. So yeah, here's what I'm returning to Sephora. Mom and I are going to go to the mall one of these days. These are stocking stuffers that I showed. I need to put those up. Oh, I need to wash these socks too. 
and I need to put everything away again. Ugh. Okay, so I just put my little hair bow in. I don't care if I'm 44. I think I'm gonna wear the bows like this. Okay, well, so much for that. I'm gonna go down on the tread now, treadmill and work off my mini weeds. Or maybe I'll add them back on because I don't think the treadmill's working. So we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye everyone. Oh! <gasps>